Hey, you guys. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you guys for being here. We're going to do another reading. So y'all get comfortable. Sit back, relax, get a snack, get some refreshment so we can get into this reading, you guys. Anything y'all need to know is below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Y'all like the video and leave me some comments to let me know what y'all think, whether the reading is resonating, all that good stuff. Okay, honey. Shoot, let's see for the collective. What are the messages for the collective at this time? It's about to be petty. Look, ooh, childhood trauma. Mm, petty. No, I'm just playing. Somebody's dealing with some childhood trauma. I'm working on myself. All right, so you could be working on yourself. Ooh, you are my destiny. Interesting. I am healing. I am working on myself. I remember you. <laughs> Ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. Staying away from you is the hardest thing I ever had to do. Abandoned. Somebody has a childhood trauma of being abandoned. And they may have abandoned you. And it's hard for them to be away from you. They may know that you're kind of distancing yourself from this person. They know that you're distancing yourself from them, whoever this is. But they want you to know that they're healing and working on themselves, okay? And it's all because of what you did. I didn't know what to say. Yeah, so somebody is really feeling like you are the reason for them beginning um, to embark upon this healing journey. Okay, y'all? I feel like I wanted to start with those cards. They're so colorful. But yeah, whoever this person is, somebody definitely pushed you away. This could also be you. Some of you guys could definitely have pushed someone away because of some childhood trauma that you have in regards to being abandoned or feeling abandoned as a child. Someone may have grown up without their parent or parents. Could have been both parents, could have been one parent. But someone has childhood trauma of abandonment issues. Okay? They have abandonment issues. And that could very well be the reason why this person abandoned you. Okay? Or made you feel abandoned. What else for the collective? Arrested. Someone may be getting arrested. Mm. Guidance. But I feel like this, um, something has come to a complete end. Yeah, new line of study. Someone is very stubborn, stuck in their ways. They feel like they're codependently attached to something. They may have some bad behavior or addictions that they experience. But I feel like they're starting to reach their breaking point. They may feel like they need to apologize to you. Mm-hmm. They were definitely, whoever this person was, definitely lied to you about who they are. But they're starting to have to see themselves in the mirror. There may have been an addiction or bad behavior or bad thoughts that this person had. Stubborn attitude that this person has or had that stopped them from telling you the truth. There could have been some type of rumors going around, okay? This person may have been making fun of you, talking about you, or there could have been like somebody making fun of them for trying to change their life. Um, yeah, but since this situation is over with, someone feels like you're missing from their life and they're very childish. They're very childish because they're insecure. Um, whoever this person is, is really obsessed with, I feel like, trying to find someone who resembles you or trying to find someone that they feel is an upgrade from your energy. Mm. But they're trapped. They're trapped when it comes to this trauma, when it comes to this childhood trauma. This, this childhood trauma is keeping them stuck in a mentality that's very childish. And even though their higher self knows that you basically help them to see the light in the situation, I think it's difficult for this person to really look in the mirror and face who they are. Okay, what else? For the collective. It's hard for this person to face who they are. Ooh, sexual intercourse. So somebody could definitely be using sex or relationships to try to mask the childhood trauma that they feel. We have karmic spying. Mm. They could be spying on you, breaking through illusions, closing old doors. Yep. Somebody is realizing that you're like 
cutting off the connection. And I feel like it has them shocked. They may try to do some type of romantic gesture or give you some type of gift to calm you down or to keep you in a situation with them. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like somebody is spying. Now, there could be a feminine energy, a karmic who, I don't know, This it says karmic, but this could be somebody who's really attached to this person who is, oh, you know what I feel? I feel like this person, mm, this person was possibly trying to use you as some type of coping mechanism because they use sex to cope with their issues and they may have caused some type of emotional damage to you but i feel like now they're spying on you because they realize the door is finally closed they may actually have someone else as well who is spying on you this could be another feminine energy in their life or you could be the masculine who has someone this feminine energy spying on you because you closed the door okay and because you closed the door on this person they're trying to figure out who you're with, what you're doing, whether you're masculine or feminine, but it could play out in different ways. Like if you're the feminine and this person was running from their childhood trauma, you probably open them up to some type of guidance or healing to fix whatever issues that they've been dealing with from their childhood. And they may be trying to get up under somebody else to get over you because they know that you've closed the door. Now, if you're the masculine, I feel like this could be a woman doing this or this could be a feminine energy doing this. But if you're the feminine and this masculine feels this way about you, they may have, I don't know, they may have been a little too loose with their business and they might have somebody who's spying on you because they that person knows that they were fooling around with you or something like that. What is this message about for my collective watching now or later? What is this message about for my collective watching now or later? Okay. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is realizing ten of swords. Somebody is realizing that they may have made a bad investment. Ten of wands, ten of swords. Yeah. Yep. Somebody knows that you're going to get what you want. Somebody knows that you're going to have someone come into your life that's going to give you the commitment that you ask for, that's going to be true to you. And they may be trying to convince you or change your mind against it, reminding you of some type of uh, desire to have success with them or an investment that, you know, they may know that you wanted to make with them at some point. Okay. Okay. See, somebody is torn up because they know that they didn't have enough to give you when they had the opportunity. They didn't they didn't have the courage to do what it takes to give you what you needed or to make the investment. What's the 7 of pentacles? What's the 7 of pentacles? Okay. The death card. <laughs> The tower. So there's a change that's happening or some type of shakeup that's taking place. Someone is getting pushed or they're going to jump. Either they're going to jump or they're going to get pushed. So, okay, let me tell y'all. There's a person who you may have had a very intimate connection with that feels like things are changing. And they're procrastinating when it comes to making some type of investment with you because they feel that they need to work on themselves more or they feel like they need to deal with their childhood trauma. The way that they cope with their childhood trauma is to have intimate relationships or to have sex with people or to be promiscuous. A lot of times that's what that's what happens when you have childhood trauma of any kind. Like sometimes, especially with abandonment, I'm not a doctor, lawyer or psychologist, but I've been in a lot of therapy sessions. So what I found and what I've observed and learned from the professionals that I've come in contact with is that those childhood traumas can result in a lot of adult behaviors like addiction, like um, promiscuous sex, like 
um, you know, gaslighting or breadcrumbing and things like that, really being detached, that causes people to kind of repeat those same things and create those same um, experiences in their life that they experienced in their childhood. And sometimes they do it subconsciously because it's a trauma that they haven't dealt with. This person feels like they need to work on themselves. They feel like they're healing. They feel like they're healing and they need to work on themselves and that you guys are meant to be together, but they know they don't have what it takes to give you what you need. They know that someone else is going to come around and give you what it is that you need. And I feel like there's a change that's happening or there's some type of transformation that could be occurring within you that's prompting this person to feel like they have to take the leap. They either have to jump or they're going to get pushed. So either they have to come forward with these feelings or they know that they're going to lose you to someone else. And I feel like that's the situation at this time. Seven of Swords. Yep. And they they got to come forward with these feelings. They got to tell you how they feel. This could definitely be a woman. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn. Okay. Seven of Swords. Yeah. They have to take this leap of faith to make some type of investment before they lose you somebody feels like they're going to lose you what's the seven of pentacles and the death card but they they have such a strong attachment to this childhood trauma yeah could be scorpio could be capricorn could be gemini could be aries scorpio capricorn aries gemini yeah maybe libra or aquarius but i'm not really getting that but it could be yeah, there's somebody coming. Somebody's making a choice to come towards you because they feel like they have to make a decision to change the way that they invest in the situation or they're not going to get what they want out of the situation. Yeah, they've been investigating, watching, and waiting. Somebody may tell you that they didn't see who you really were, or they regret the fact that they didn't see who you really were. They were confused about what they wanted. They didn't know what they wanted, but it's like, now they know. So this person may come forward telling you about this childhood trauma, or they may come forward to give you some type of information that you haven't yet learned about who it is that they are. What is this person's intentions? It's like they know they have to make a change in their life and losing you is prompting them to make this change. Or the fact that you're closing a door, this person is realizing that there's some type of illusion that they were under. It's some type of, I don't know what this is. Maybe it was denial. I don't know what it is, but it feels like denial. Somebody was in denial. They may have thought that you would always be waiting for them or that you would always be around forever waiting on them to get their shit together and i feel like they're realizing that you've closed the door or that a situation is dead and over with and that you're not gonna come back mm -hmm. what is this person's intentions towards the collective use your discernment Spirit wants you to use your discernment, child. Captivated. Uh, okay. Attracted, alluring, enticing, mesmerized, desirable, interested. So this person is interested in you, but use your discernment before you proceed. Because you're going to need more information. You need to wait. Because whatever this olive branch that this person is offering you is maybe not coming from the best place. Okay. What else is this person's intention towards the collective? What else is their intentions towards the collective? String you along. See what I'm saying? You're going to have to use your discernment because whoever this is has unclean hands. They've done something. I feel like this person maybe was even gossiping about you or talking about you behind your back. Laughing, humor, stubborn rumors. I feel like someone maybe when they were drunk or intoxicated or maybe when they were dealing with another person, they could have been talking about you, telling your business, complaining about you to another person that they were dealing with or to friends or family members. And they have unclean hands. And there was something that they did that maybe put you at a detriment or something that they did that wasn't honorable towards your spirit. Okay. And then string you along says not serious, leading you on, often on communication, inconsistencies, actions, not matching words, misleading. 
So you're going to really have to use your discernment when this person offers an olive branch to you to really figure out. It's like you're going to have to wait. They, their action, you need to take this person's actions and not their words because they lie. Whoever this person is lies and they really try to avoid dealing with their shit. They don't want to deal with their issues. Helpful hand or helping hand. Mentor, guidance, showing you the way supportive. Uh, yeah, unnecessary worry. Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody is just trying to convince you that they've changed. And I'm not sure necessarily that they have, okay? I'm not really sure that they've necessarily changed. They say that they're working on themselves and they're dealing with their childhood trauma. But if they want you to sit around and wait for them to make a choice or wait for them to do what needs to be done, that's a waste of your motherfucking time. If they want you to understand all of their tomfoolery and bullshit instead of doing something about it and have you in pain because of their cowardice when it comes to healing themselves, then that's a waste of your time. The Knight of Cups just flipped out. I was about to ask, what is this person? What action are they going to take? Yeah, so they plan on speaking to you about their feelings. They, they plan on expressing their feelings to you when it comes to this situation. But I feel like their plan is kind of self-centered. And even with the stringing you along on and off again communication, that's kind of, I don't know, the Knight of Cups finessing, fly dressing, impressing, um, creating stories and building this big, you know, building up this big outcome. Yeah, but I feel like your spirit is going to tell you that there's a red flag or your spirit is going to tell you to wait. Or that this opportunity is not clear. That, that you're going to experience some type of loss. Or you're going to be confused and in your head for a long time. Attached to this person who's very immature and childish. They, they're, they're emotionally immature. And I feel like you need someone who's um, very strong and sure of their feelings. And this person, I feel like they... they 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 switch up too much. They switch up too much and they might have feelings for you right now, but then an hour later they may be feeling differently. What's the Knight of Cups? This person's next actions. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. But it I don't know if it, the Ace of Swords was reversed or not. They're going to try to make you feel like they're being true. Like this opportunity is true. But I just don't. I just don't know if that's the case. They could only be, they may only be coming forward because they had another situation that didn't work out. It's going to be very confusing to you what they're saying because it's like they say one thing and then they do another. They're very wishy-washy and flip floppy and i feel like they're waiting for this queen of wands to come back into their life because this person may have abandoned them or they may be having an argument with this person they may be trying to rebound from a relationship or a breakup from somebody and they may juggle you back and forth between this person or as soon as this person decides to take them back they're gonna run back to whoever this is <clears throat> there's a third party here but this third party is not currently involved with this person they broke up. So whoever this is just broke up with somebody else. And they're trying to rebound, I feel like, with you. They're waiting for the, the one who they feel like is the true love of their life to come back. This person always fucks up shit like that. That's why they even fucked up with this Queen of Wands. Because they because they, they lack emotional maturity. And there's some, there's a lie connected to this opportunity or it's like they're only going to tell you half truths about what this is and why they're coming forward. Okay. What is the advice for the collective in this situation to a pinnacles? <sighs> You're going to have to weigh the pros and the cons of this decision. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like you're going to see that this person is juggling or you need to use your discernment in this situation. You don't need to go by what this person is saying. You need to go by what this person's actions have been. 
I feel like you're going to do the right thing or you're going to feel basically you're going to feel that this person is holding something back. You're going to feel or realize that this person isn't telling you 100 percent of the story. And you're going to feel that this person only wants to, to maybe get attention or have attention because of something else that's going on. It's not about you. It's the fact that they're childish and they've been abandoned by someone else. Not they not only did they abandon you, but they've been abandoned by another person and that childhood trauma of abandonment is starting to flare up. So they feel alone. It's hard for this person to be alone. And they were rejected by someone else or they felt abandoned by someone else and now they need attention. So they're coming to you to get that attention after they rejected you or ghosted you in the past. And I feel like you're going to see this clearly. I feel like you're going to make a good decision to basically continue walking on your path five of pentacles five of wands Jeez, it's like something is glaring you and it's like right in your eye there's a glare in your eye or there maybe maybe there's a reflection coming off of something else that's catching your eye i feel like there's some type of sign or synchronicity involving your eye maybe your third eye your intuition but it could be like involving your future where you where you see your life going. You just don't feel like this person has the mental or emotional fortitude to be able to support you. You feel like they may be like cowardice or you feel like they have a lot to learn. And I don't think you feel like you want to teach them. Yeah, this part and this could be someone who you're meeting. This person could be coming on really strong, but it's like it's something that you don't trust about the situation. Or it's something that they already did to you in the past that you had to heal from and maybe they don't want to talk about it. Or it's something that you know that they're hiding from you that they don't want to talk about and it's causing you to have some type of feeling of a red flag. Your advice is to like really look at the situation logically, okay? What's the two of pentacles? Oh man, three of swords reversed. Okay. Ten of Cups. Yeah, because you don't want to get hurt in this situation. You don't want to get hurt. It's There's definitely illusions. Someone may be being delusional or they may be like spewing out some type of illusions to get you to believe what it is that they're saying. They're saying that they're going to be devoted and all this other stuff towards this relationship. But I just feel like your intuition is telling you that it's not a good choice that you need to move away from this situation and not talk to this person. Maybe you haven't communicated with this person for a long time and you may want to talk to them or catch up with them, but I feel like ultimately you're going to be warned against um, continuing a connection with this person. Can I get one more card? Three of swords reversed and the two of pentacles. That's your advice. Ooh, the full reverse. See what I'm saying? You feel like this is going to be a foolish decision because, yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, maybe this person brings a lot of negativity or confusion into your life, but it's like, you feel like this may be a foolish decision when it comes to your overall growth and well-being. And it, it's like something is showing you or telling you that you're going to get caught up in a situation that you really don't want to get caught up in. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like somebody is trying to get you caught up in something that you don't have anything to do with. They may even just be talking to you because they know this other person is watching. Like, I feel like someone else is watching or observing this person deal with you or observing this person hang out with you or something. And they're trying to use you as like a rebound or they're trying to use you as like... um. I don't know, a way to make someone else jealous. Because they know someone else is going to be watching. Like, especially if this person tries to put you on their social media a bunch and like acting like everything is so cute and all this other stuff. They may be trying to make someone jealous or, you know, rebound because they have abandonment issues. What else does the collective need to know in this situation? Ooh, <laughs> bitch. I love you. Things changed. Yeah, I feel like something changed in this person's life. They may tell you that things changed for them, but I feel like what really changed is that somebody else ditched their ass. That's what I feel. 
maybe later move on now yeah i feel like <laughs> someone may come and tell you that they have feelings for you they may express these feelings to you but you may tell them i don't know maybe later we'll see and i feel like you're moving on from this situation Mhm. Mm let's get an angel answer real quick because somebody all they're gonna do is string you along or all they did in the past was string you along and I feel like maybe they're realizing that a relationship on and off again with somebody else is finally over. Like the reason why they may have strung you along in the past, if that's what happened, is because they were dealing with somebody else that they were on and off with. And when they came back on, they ghosted you, right? That relationship might be completely over with, right? Th this Queen of Wands or whoever this other person is, they may not come back into their life at all. It doesn't matter who it is. You could be a masculine watching this and this is a woman coming towards you you could be a feminine and this is a masculine coming towards you but what what i feel is that this person had another situation that was bouncing back and forth between them and someone else for a long time and that person who they were bouncing back and forth with may have decided that they permanently are done with that on and off again situation and whoever this person is that's coming towards you knows that the other party is done with them so now they're trying to rebound to you because they have abandonment issues especially if this person is trying to get sex out of you or you know move really quickly or they're trying to like really do a bunch on their social media around you take pictures and all that extra shit you know and I feel like that's what changed. Like things changed in this person's life. I also feel like things changed when it comes to the way that you feel about this person. Okay. You may have loved this person, but I feel like when they express their feelings to you, your feelings have changed. What's the advice for the collective in this situation? Yeah. You're realizing that somebody's only out for themselves, that they're very selfish, that they have to feel like they always win. Yeah, not the right time. It's not the right time for whatever this is because I feel like this person has not healed. They're claiming that they're healing and working on themselves, but they really are not. They're really trying to appease their abandonment trauma from childhood by bouncing from whoever broke up with them or whoever left them behind to you. Instead of actually sitting with themselves and figuring out why the fuck they keep fucking up good relationships. Ooh, compromise. It's not the right time to compromise. Okay. Then you have yes. Okay. So I feel like spirit is like, yes, we said what we said. Just so you know. Excuse me. There's a card in here that says uh, perfect timing. And this one says not the right time. Which basically states... This is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about. This answer is not a no, just a not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. So at some point, this person may actually change. They're making a choice to change, but I feel like it's procrastinated or they're waiting. It's taking them a long time to change. I don't think you should wait on this person because it's not the right time for you to compromise. They haven't done enough work for you to be justified in compromising what you want to deal with their trauma with them this is not the right time they haven't made enough effort they haven't put forth enough um, of an investment into their healing i feel like they're just saying that to get you to do what they want you to do and that's why spirit wants you to use your discernment i think you're being guided to end this situation and like cut it off because this person is going to bring you some type of unnecessary worry or stress um, but that's what I feel. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it helped you guys. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, put your comments below. If you guys would like to participate in two for 25, you have until the end of June because upon July 1st, we will be changing it to two for 44. Okay, you guys. So I want to try to help you guys get as much, um, answers as you have. Okay. For the most affordable price summertime. Woo woo. All right. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.